Hello everybody, this is Robin Dean from The Writing Obsession. You're watching a brief tutorial for the maintenance feature of our members area. To register for our members area, simply visit thewritingobsession.com forward slash members. We hope that you find this resource useful. Our maintenance feature provides a way to store and keep track of useful data while informing you about upcoming or past due tasks. The first thing we need to do is add a motorcycle. I'm going to start with our 1988 Honda Hawk GT. This motorcycle has 28,195 miles on it, which I'm going to enter into the current mileage box. This can be any preferred unit of measure, so long as you continue to use that unit of measure throughout your records. Next, I'm going to enter information into the notes section below. The notes section is not for maintenance records. It's simply there to store regularly accessed data pertaining to the motorcycle in question. For example, my manual states that the Hawk GT spark plug gap should be anywhere between 0.031 and 0.035 inches, and that the oil drain plug should be torqued to 25 foot-pounds. So now that I've entered the motorcycle's nickname, total mileage, and whatever notes I designate as useful, we're ready to save this bike and start adding maintenance records. As you can see, we now have a new set of options. We can add another motorcycle from scratch. We can show whatever notes are necessary while performing a maintenance task. We can edit, clone, or delete a given motorcycle. And if you accidentally click clone or delete, don't worry. Those links require a second confirmation. Updating the odometer is quick and easy. Clicking on its form value automatically clears it for fast data entry. Now we haven't added any maintenance records for this bike, which is this page's intended purpose. So let's do that now. As you can see here, we have form values for a process title, service interval, and the last time we performed this particular task. Let's start with the most important task of all, the oil change. Now my manual says that I'm supposed to perform an oil change every 8,000 miles, but that seems a little bit stretched to me. I feel that between 3 and 5,000 miles is more appropriate, so I'm going to set this to 4,000. Again, if you're used to kilometers or any other unit of measure, it makes no difference so long as you use said measurement throughout your records. The very same percentage math formula will apply to the alerts and duration information. For this tutorial, I'm going to set the last oil change to 25,000 miles. And now I'm going to add this record. As you can see, submitting the form has returned me to the editing page so that I may continue to add additional maintenance records. For example, I know that the air filter should be checked every 6,000 miles and replaced every 12,000 miles. I'm entering the replacement interval as 25,000 because I just checked it and it appears to be pretty clean. The next maintenance record I'm going to add is for the valves. I also know that this process was done close to the time when I purchased the bike, so I'm setting this to 25,000 miles as well. Now that I'm done editing, I click on the maintenance main link to see my changes and alerts take hold. All of our previous options return and we can see what's coming up in the maintenance interval range. Now let's say we're approaching a scheduled oil change. At 15% or less, the notification bar turns red, informing us that there's some maintenance coming up. And if an oil change is overdue, the entire block of text becomes red and the meter bar sits at zero. This makes priority tasks easily noticeable, ensuring that you're alerted. Now the fact of the matter is that the number of records you see here isn't very much. Most of my motorcycles have in upwards of 15 maintenance tasks that I use this site feature to keep track of. Having to build a maintenance scheme for each and every motorcycle one at a time would prove tedious, so we've provided an option to clone your records. Now you can see that there's a copy of my Hawk GT's maintenance profile. We can now edit that profile, changing the variables to suit a different motorcycle by renaming and adding or removing records as needed. To keep the layout clean, we only show one bike at a time. If you have more than one bike, a drop-down menu will appear, which allows you to select which bike you want to look at. Of course, if we sell a bike and there's no reason to keep records for it, we can delete it from the herd. And there you have it. The Riding Obsession members area features a maintenance records notification system that we invite you to put to use. I hope it comes in handy. For The Riding Obsession, I'm Robin Dean. Safe travels, everyone.